ghetto as shit, but, but it's gonna work. Or it's not, and you won't see this video. So today, we're gonna paint this bitch. I uh, painted the trim yesterday. As you can tell, I, I taped everything off, and uh, you know, made that shit look perfect. So gotta tape everything off. I still gotta sand some shit down a little bit. For the most part, it's pretty smooth, but still gotta go over it one more time with some probably uh, 600 or something like that. So it's been about three hours I've been taping this thing off and uh, just wet sanding it and getting everything ready. Just gotta cover up the rims and then I should be ready to go. And I'll show you guys the color in a second. Still got the fucked up bumper. I'm just gonna paint it. There's not too much room in my mess shack, but I mean, it's all I got. I don't know how well it picks up on camera, but just wait till it's done. You'll see. I think it's gonna look real fucking sick. All right, let's mix some shit. We'll put down a base coat, and then I'll show you guys what that looks like afterwards. First base coat down. Just let it dry now for about 20, 30 minutes, and then I'll come back through and hit it with another one. It's been sitting overnight. I'm about to pull it out so you can see what it looks like in the sun. I think it came out pretty good. The fuck you doing in here? Let's see if it starts. Hasn't been giving me any problems. I mean, I've been letting it sit for like weeks at a time. There we go. So it's been sitting overnight and I just found this fucking puddle as I pulled it out. So uh, that's cool. It's a bunch of uh, oil. You gotta figure out where that's leaking from. Shit looks crazy outside in the sun. I'm gonna get all this tape off and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Cause god damn that shit looks purple as fuck. It's been about a week. I never really ended that video. I just hosed it off cause it's hella dirty. But I really like the way the paint came out. I know I didn't get into too much detail on how to paint it. I'm gonna make another video. Cause I'm uh, about to paint these rims right now. So I'll go into that. And then I uh... I picked up that wagon over there so I'm gonna paint that. And I'll be sure to film. Film a lot more on that wagon cause I think I'm gonna do it at Sick Method's house. Someone to help me film and everything, but overall I'm really happy with the way it came out. Except for there's like a dent in the door, and there's like a couple other little small dents that didn't re weren't really noticeable until it's painted, and I now you can see them. So in total, I spent like two hundred and forty dollars on uh paint. I spent like hundred forty on the single stage one gallon uh it's like an all in one eBay paint kit, and then I probably spent like another hundred dollars in sandpaper and a primer. It's not the cleanest paint job in the world. But it's something I did in my backyard, and hey, it's a it's a 20 foot car. So from 20 feet away, man, this car like you know, it'll look real nice. And it's gonna be a uh, scrape in the ground. I still have uh six or seven videos. That's how far behind I am, because I've actually flipped two other cars and made a bunch of money. Well, not a bunch of money, but I made some decent money. And these last couple weeks, well, I've been kind of lagging on the videos. So I got a flipping car series. I'm gonna start uploading. That's why I bought that wagon. To flip it, you'll have to find out about that later. Four videos down the road or something like that. But anyways, I also got tint for this thing. I'm gonna tint the windows and show you how that goes. I've never tinted anything before, but I don't believe it to be too hard because I've seen junkies on bikes do it. So I'm sure I could figure it out. That'll be on this one. Peace, maps.